Hey, Tim, how are you? Good. How was your weekend? You stayed yeah, home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, mostly. I did go and visit my mum, but, you know, she's over 80, so I'm allowed to, um, I'm allowed to do that because she's um, isolating at home. We won't let her out. So we did oh, do okay. that. And I've had a bit of a change of scenery. I've moved from my dining room into um, my upstairs lounge room. So um, I just thought that might be nice for something different. Yeah, nice and leafy over the back yes, over there. Certainly is. Yeah. Although um, it did mean that my brand new next door neighbour could see that I was at home and has just come in and knocked on the door and said that they're changing the fences. So <laughs> I think I'm a little bit exposed out there. Mm. So what's happening this week, Tim? I think you've um, you're putting together a document to ask fair trading a few questions. What's um, what's going on in that space? Yes, there's a number of things uh, we're asking fair trading, but just before we get into the questions, I am asking yep. them. Um, one question I did ask and they've come back. You'll recall last week that I said we'd made an application to have the licence fees for, for agents waived this year. Yep. Um, so they've come back to me with a document and said, uh, acknowledging that they've received it right. and, and are considering it. So, um, yeah, I, look, I, th I think, frankly, it's the least they can do given, given everything that's going on. So yeah, there's no that. doubt about that. Yeah, that's great. So the, the other thing that we're asking is about the residential tenancies area. Yep. Had a discussion this afternoon with the Minister's Chief of Staff, that's Minister Anderson's Chief of Staff, who, and uh, as you know, the Minister is the Minister for Fair Trading. So had a talk to him about what, um, what is going on with landlord's insurance. Mm -hmm. And the longer we talk, the more confusing I think it, it got. So mm -hmm. we, we've... Um, We've moved on from it being a New South Wales problem now, and he's now identified it, which it always was, as a national problem. Yeah. So they're going to escalate it now up to the uh, housing minister, the, the um, federal housing minister, mm -hmm. and saying you need to get the insurance guys in and find out what's going on in this space. Great. So, um, but we've, um, we've, we are in the process of preparing a couple of documents for agents to use so one of them is one of those documents will be to say to the insurer, what do you want me to do? You know, mm -hmm. I've, I've got this obligation to negotiate in good faith, um, but if we reduce the rent without your consent, then I may be voiding my insurance. What do you want me to do? How do you want me to approach this? And would you, the insurer, like to take this thing on? Mm -hmm. yeah. That'd be the best way. Yeah. Um, None of that really is a good outcome, no. and none of it has been contemplated by the uh, by the regs. What they brought out, you know, the, the policy outcome. Yeah. And um, but anyway, um, so we have we yet to get a resolution on that. To be frank with you, and then there's been some other things that have gone on, um, and it, we've we've got a um, a few questions around what it is. Um, Sorry about the noise in the background. Yeah, I was going to say, what is going on? Well, that's my um, that is my neighbour. He is um, doing some renovation. Oh, nice. So he's he's um, working from home, but in a different capacity, I think. <laughs> Never but mind. He's, um, he's been quite noisy. Um, but anyway, so so the the reality of it is that we um we have to start and ask some practical questions about. Does a person need to be constantly satisfying the 25% infected by COVID? Or if they satisfy it on, on day one, oh, okay. does, that, does that carry all the way through? Yeah. The next Interesting. question. It no, see, I've been, I've been sort of saying to people, um, just negotiate for the next month. Just, just do a deal for the next month. I know it's creating more work for the property managers, but this, is, this situation is fluid, right? Can mm. we negotiate for the next month and then see where they land the following month? I don't know. Yeah, so, so the, the next question is, as you know, you have to satisfy two things. One test you have to satisfy is you have to be COVID-19 affected, and then the other one is it has to be household income down 25%. Yeah. Both of those things will require um, some evidence. Yeah. So, so who has to provide the evidence and what do they have to provide? Yeah. Um, so in normal cases, in, in, in normal processes, what would happen is that 
the person who wants the benefit has to provide the documents. Yeah. So, so the question is, what do they have to provide? Um, yeah, there's, I know there's been, um, you know, the, the tenants union, union has sort of been advising their tenants, you know, not not to provide too much information. But I think if we're being asked to negotiate in good faith, um, then a tenant in good faith needs to provide that information that will allow the landlord and the agent to make the determination. That's right. And, um, and then the next question is, how do you want to receive that information? Do, do you want to receive it as a statute declaration mm. so that you've got the, you know, the power there to be able to say, well, now you've lied on a stat debt, you know, if, <laughs> if it was proven to be wrong. Yes, such so, a I mean, solicitor. Yeah. So you're, you're getting, um, you're getting uh, confirmation of all this from fair trading or you've, you've at least asked for that, right? Yeah, in the process of, so we're compiling yep. questions. Um, as you know, the Institute's lawyer, Nicole, is uh, independently putting her series of questions together as well. Yeah. But Leanne, on a practical matter, if the landlord isn't getting the full amount of rent yep. and the hot water system breaks and there isn't there isn't money there from in, for the landlord to put their hand in their pocket, well, what happens? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a difficult, it's a difficult one. I, can't I mean, imagine they're, they're any... simply going to have to go and find it, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I can't imagine um, anybody being... Um, too happy having a cold shower um, coming into winter. So yeah, they're no. interesting, definitely interesting questions. Now we've got a we've got a release, um, a media release going out tomorrow, which we hope um, to encourage um, um, government to consider stamp duty. Tell me about that. So we've said to to government what they should be doing is reducing the stamp duty payable now by seventy five percent. Now I know they're going to go. Oh no, we shouldn't do that. My argument is this. Better to get 25% of something than 100% of nothing. Okay, now on the weekend, on the weekend, we saw the auction clearance rates at 39%. Now I know auctions are not the entire market, but they're like taking the pulse of the market, in my view. Yeah. And uh, and it's and it's it's here and now, which is the so you're not waiting waiting for six weeks to get your data. Yeah. So so I think what that is telling me is that the market has slowed over 50% because six weeks ago we were in the low 80s, so 83% clearance rate. And, you know, as they say, a week is a long time in politics. Well, six weeks is a long time mm -hmm. in the market. Mm -hmm. So we've gone from 83% to 39%. Yep. Um, so I think, the, I think the argument can be made of government um, to, to try and stimulate the market. Yeah, I agree. Because I've been uh, I, I've been speaking to a lot of agents today, and I'm hearing that there's a number of people going to banks, getting pre-approvals, and that kind of thing. There's a lot of um, a lot of interest. Uh, Realestate.com would tell you that they've they've got record numbers of people actually looking, but everything is pointing to them just looking at the moment rather than actually, you know, yes, there's certainly some deals that are being done, but I think that if we can provide that incentive by way of a dramatic uh, decrease in stamp duty, I think that would have a really positive impact on the um, on the numbers of properties being transacted. So let's hope we, uh, let's hope we do well in that space. Um, but, the, but I think the important thing is for government to recognise when the economy is so, so slow that it is now, they need to take a bigger view than just their own backyard. And if we can get that transaction done, then that filters all the way down the line to so many other industries that hang off that transaction. Totally. And um, and I think for that reason, they need to need to understand that every transaction they can push through the market now is one they wouldn't get. Otherwise, yeah, no, I think that's a really, really good point. Um, and just to go back to our friends at the Tenants Union, um, they did send us an email over the weekend complaining that my video that I did for landlords on Friday was misleading in that I didn't mention that landlords need to negotiate in good faith and I didn't mention that landlords can choose to negotiate um, the, um, the deferral of rent and potentially waive that rent. So I will... Um, film a new video and um, and upload that just to keep everybody happy um, because that's the kind of girl I am. Um, now, we've also got our webinar on um, on Friday. John Cunningham is going to come back and share with us a um, bit of an update on how his business is um, is running, what's going well, what's, what the challenges are for him. So I am looking forward to that. Um, and you will have to make sure your neighbour is not doing a renovation on Friday morning at 10.30.
Yeah, so I'll, I'll go and have a uh, I'll go and have a, a chat with him. I think. Yep, it is, good um, idea. Yes, he has been um, he has been noisy all day, but I'm sure that what's going to happen is going to add value to the entire complex. So <laughs> yeah, somewhat, right. I'm somewhat resident to go and uh, stop his industrious uh, activities. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to do? Um, cover so we've on? got a uh, we've got a couple of other um, press releases going out this week. Um, one is to highlight um, the banks. I mean, the banks of the banks are running around saying, "Oh, look at us! How good are we? We're going to defer this." Yeah. I mean that that needs to be called out for what it is. Absolutely. Um, and and in this press release, it's going to be saying that the government have congratulated themselves for handing back four hundred and forty million. Well, that money was the was the land tax that had been unjustly extorted from us anyway. So they're only giving that back. And the banks have decided what they're going to do is to defer the payment. So that what they're actually doing is making money out of the deal. Yeah. Not one single solitary penny is being put up. So out of the three parties, the only one that is actually going to lose anything or put their hand in their pocket is the landlord. The landlords. That's yeah. it. So yeah. we're going to call... We're going to call that out, um, okay. and um, and there'll be you know some other other, some uh, other releases stuff. that yeah. we will we're going to put out during the week as well. Um, one thing one thing we'd like to be highlighting is that the amount of money that goes into funding the tenants advocate service, um, I, I I think it's obscene. Um, Say so they get a base figure of eleven million dollars a year for the tenants union. Um, and then if they have any special projects like um, this particular one, then they were given two and a half million to, um, to handle that. Now, is that wrong? Well, that's for smarter people than me to, to work out. But what I do know is that the landlords are suffering exactly the same problems. Um, and what assistance is government giving them? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. So I, I have know. a view on that as well, then. Ah, uh, yes, I know you. I, uh, I think we can all work out what your view on that is. So um, I am sure we will hear more about that later in the week. Um, but I will um, I will leave you to go and deal with your noisy neighbour. I'm on it. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Thank Bye. you. Bye.